Greetings, everyone. How are you all doing this Tuesday? I hope that you're all having a wonderful and blessed Tuesday. So the Biden administration has been working hard to gain support from our lawmakers in Congress on his new infrastructure plan. But many Americans are wondering whether President Biden's infrastructure package will include a fourth stimulus check. Well, according to multiple news sources, another round of stimulus checks is very likely to happen. Today, I will be discussing all known details about the fourth stimulus payment in this video. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Remember, this coming Friday evening, I will be giving away another $75 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and also leave a comment below. Thank you very much. So yesterday, Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi criticized Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy recently promoted a restaurant aid program that was created by the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan on social media. Many are pointing out that McCarthy is a hypocrite because Republicans unanimously opposed President Joe Biden's stimulus relief package before the president signed it into law in March. In a statement, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office stated, Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy criticized the American Rescue Plan and convinced every member of his caucus to vote against it. He even warned the American people, help is not on the way. Now, he's touting the American Rescue Plan's restaurant revitalization fund to brag about bringing home the bacon. So what are your thoughts on this, everyone? Please leave them in the comment section below. In my opinion, I think it's really ridiculous that the Republicans are trying to act like they are the ones who got the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan passed. In a Facebook post, Kevin McCarthy provided a link to the Small Business Administration's website where the restaurants can apply for funding equal to their crisis-related monetary losses. Currently, restaurants are eligible for up to $10 million per business or no more than $5 million per location. Funding recipients don't have to pay back the amount as long as the money is used towards payroll, mortgage payments, maintenance, construction of outdoor seating, and other eligible expenses by March 11, 2023. Several other Republican lawmakers have been promoting the Restaurant Assistant Fund, despite voting against the overall stimulus relief package that created the program. GOP lawmakers have defended touting the restaurant program by arguing it does not mean they support everything else in the sweeping pandemic relief law. Republican Senator Roger Wicker recently introduced legislation with Democratic Senator Kristen Sinema to establish a restaurant relief program following the passage of the American Rescue Plan. Senator Wicker stated, one good provision in a $1.9 trillion bill does not mean I have to vote for the whole thing. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi predicted upon passage of the relief package that Republicans unanimously opposing the legislation would eventually try to take credit for the aid to their communities. Since then, Pelosi has taken to the regularly saying that Republicans vote no and take the dough. Support for another round of stimulus checks is growing every day. There is tremendous support right now among members of the general public for a new stimulus check. Many are urging President Biden to pass another relief payment this month. All the details have not been finalized yet, but our lawmakers are working on passing a bill that would provide eligible Americans with a fourth stimulus payment. If the Biden administration decides to include a fourth stimulus check, then we could possibly be seeing a new stimulus check sometime this September. While millions of Americans are hoping for another stimulus check, one state has already launched their own plan. Democratic California Governor Gavin Newsom and state legislators announced a roughly $9.6 billion stimulus relief bill. It was announced early this year that included $600 one-time payments to 5.7 million eligible California residents. Millions of Golden State residents have yet to receive the additional stimulus payment. According to Newsom's stimulus plan, eligible residents would get a $600 or $1,200 one-time payment, but recipients must have filed a 2020 tax return to even see the stimulus payment. Payments are reportedly being pumped out bi-monthly 
and those who still have not yet filed taxes may have to wait up to two months after filing to get the direct payment. And if you meet the eligibility requirements, make sure to file a 2020 tax return now. According to California's Franchise Tax Board, if a resident filed taxes online between January 1st, 2021 and March 1st, 2021, then they will receive a stimulus payment after April 15th, 2021. But remember, paper checks could take between four to six weeks for mailing and processing. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and President Biden have expressed that they want GOP support. However, it will be difficult to gain Republican support on Biden's new infrastructure plan. Thankfully, there is a new procedural option that could be an opening for Biden. Many experts say that it's possible he may be able to pass the plan through the budget reconciliation process, which only takes 50 votes in the Senate. I think that our lawmakers in Congress will use the budget reconciliation process once again to get President Biden's infrastructure plan signed into law. If the budget reconciliation process is used, it is also more likely that a fourth stimulus check will be included in the final version of the bill. Uh, here is the story, very simple story, is that right now, uh, for the last 55 years since Medicare was developed in 1965, it has not included coverage for dental care, hearing aids, and eyeglasses. And I can tell you, in Vermont and all over this country, you got te you got senior citizens whose teeth are rotting in their mouths, older people who can't talk to their grandchildren because they can't hear them because they can't afford a hearing aid, and people who can't read a newspaper because they can't afford glasses. So to say that dental care and hearing aids and eyeglasses should be a part of Medicare makes all the sense in the world. Second of all, we're gonna pay for this. This is a pay for. Right now, as I think every American understands, we pay the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. We're getting ripped off every day by the pharmaceutical industry, who in some cases charges us 10 times more for the same drug that's sold in Canada or in other countries. So what we want to do is what the American people want to do. We want to negotiate prescription drug prices with the industry through Medicare. When you do that, you save about $500 billion, and that can cover mm -hmm. the cost of dental care, eyeglasses and hearing aid, under Medicare, as well as lowering the eligibility age to 60. That's what we have to do. Yeah. We have to pay for. That is the end of the video, everyone. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer the questions that you have. Please make sure to enter the $75 Amazon gift card giveaway by subscribing to my channel, liking and sharing this video, and also leaving a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a very, very blessed day.